or not? You answer me. The concept of divine is clear to me, yeah. In the Christianity? Ah, and then I can't answer. I don't know. So my story is I was just christened as a baby. I yeah. don't know enough about Christianity okay. to answer. Be so, for today. example, a Christian, they believe in the Trinity, correct? Yeah, they do, yeah. Can you explain to me the Trinity? Yeah, so they believe that there's the God, the Son of God, and the Spirit of God. Where is the oneness of God? So, I guess the way to explain that from their perspective, and again, I, I don't represent Christians. No, I'm, I'm not saying you represent, I'm saying sure. to you, I'm saying to you because you remember the concept that we established? Yeah, yeah clarity. Clarity. Yeah, yeah. Is the concept of the oneness of God clear in Christianity? I think it is if you're able to explain that Trinity. Now, that means, if I need to explain, that means it's not clear. Okay. For example, again, when I need to explain something, sure. it, it means it's not clear. Okay. But Do you the, understand? Yes, but the explanation might make clarity. The, let me tell so you, you something. you mean it should be intuition? Yeah, for, for example, for example, yeah, when God is sending down his message, uh -huh. Someone who's a headsman of a sheep in the desert somewhere, someone who's a fisherman will read, will understand what God wants from him, or at least will hear, and then will realize what God wants from him. Correct? Sure, okay. You understand me with clarity? Yeah, clarity. Because God yeah. is good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, need to go, I don't need to go to a university to Not understand sure. yeah, what's yeah. God, what yeah. God wants okay. from me, yeah? I understand, yeah. So, now, does this apply to Christianity? Uh, I think it does to them. Does no, no, no. To me? no, no, no. Again, sure. the concept of a trinity and the oneness of God, two things. Yeah. Is this something need anyone can understand it or or need clarification? It, it, it would need it would need clarification. That shows what? It shows that it can be proved. Clarification proves something. Again, it shows it's not clear. Okay, I, I understand that argument. That, so it should be something that doesn't need explaining. How can it be tested? Yes, for example. Uh -huh. And I will give you an example from the Bible so you understand what I'm talking about. Sure. So, not, not even from the Old Testament, which the Old Testament is clear. The Old Testament, for example, in the Old Testament, worship no one beside me because I'm a jealous God. Well, is it clear? No one beside me because I'm a jealous God. That's clear. Clear? Yeah. Worship no one? Yeah. Worship only one God? Yeah. And no one beside me? God is jealous, doesn't want to associate with him partner. Clear? That's clear, yeah. Now, let's go to the New Testament. Is it uh, clear? Okay, worship no one beside me. Let's apply it. To worship who? The Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost? Now, let alone this. I will use a statement by Jesus. Okay. Jesus, peace be upon him. When the children of Israel, they were set, they were, they, they, they get together, they sat in front of him in a time where he need to address the children of Israel. He need to tell them about what he is. He need to tell as well, what is the concept of God to them? Yeah. What he said to them, oh, you, oh, you uh, Israel, oh, you children of Israel, our Lord God is one. Is it clear? Yeah, that's clear. Now, when he said our Lord is one, did he include himself or he excluded himself? Uh, no, I guess he didn't include himself. Do you talk English? Do you speak English? <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. Vaguely broken, but yeah. So, okay. So when I said our, what does it mean? When Lord I said... And my, and okay. And everyone. Us. Plural. Am I included? Yeah. When I said our? Yeah. When he said our 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 God is one, yeah. is he did he include himself or he excluded himself? Interesting, interesting. I guess he uh, he did include himself because he said. Let you guess. I don't, listen. He would have said you. No, no, no. So he he he, said, uh, he our means us. So if I say, yeah, means us, means us. Yeah, our city is London, yeah. including me. Absolutely, yes. Which means I'm not excluded. No, yeah, you. So when Jesus said our our God is one. He, he included himself, correct? Yeah, he does. Cause he says, so he has a God? Yeah, he has a God, yeah. What does that make him? It makes him, again, from, I don't, 
the first time I've even heard this, this, this particular thing. But from my understanding is that he is the son of God. Okay, so let's use the Bible. He's the son of God. David was son of God. Sure, okay. Moses was son of God. Children of Israel used to be children of God. So God has many children. Are you talking about Jesus to be the son of God in the same manner? Or are you talking about something else? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Because, I don't because know. son, it means slave. If you wanted to say slave of God, then yes, I accept this. So I mean slave, so but son is in your child, it doesn't mean slave does it? Or is the definition of the word you mean? It depends what you want to use it, because in Arabic language uh -huh. to say ghulam means could be son, a direct son could be a slave. Okay, okay, I see. So the, the word in Arabic is the ghulam. same for no, slave not the same. and child? No, not the child. Okay. A, a, a son, specifically a son, okay. ghulam, okay, okay. means to say ghulam means he is the son of this person or could be the slave of this person. Okay. Yeah? Okay, sure. So now, when Jesus was saying this, it could be, it could meant by, he is a servant of God, a slave of God. Okay, yeah, I see, I see your point. Because now, if you say he is son, uh -huh. if you wanted to say he is the begotten son, which is only mentioned, the irony is only mentioned in the Gospel of John. And Gospel of John has a big question mark about it, okay. where that Gospel of John, it wasn't directly, written by John, it was attributed to John. Okay, okay. Firstly. Secondly, John himself didn't write it. Actually, it was copied by Mark, where Mark even didn't meet Jesus. So that's, that's another problem. Okay. Mark didn't meet Jesus, and he wrote the gospel, and then John, who supposed to meet Jesus, wrote it from Mark, and both of them, even John, we don't know who's John. Sure. And all of these things, and yet he, it is the only in his, in his thing to say, begotten son. This is a problem with ancient texts, I find. So that's why that tells you, if, if God is good, yeah? Going back, God is good. Yeah, God is good, yeah. God wants the guidance for us. God wants the best for us. Good. Does that make the best for us, with this vagueness? Say again. Does this statement, which is yeah. vagueness, and all this ambiguity, is it something good or bad for us? I think ambiguity is not great for us, no. I think it gives, no. Clarity is better. So, according to this is not clear, correct? According to, yes, what you said, no. It so, is, it's not. So, so that tells you, whatever Christian believes now, uh -huh. based on something which is vague and ambiguous, uh -huh. that tells you it's not, it's not necessarily the word of God. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You see, do you understand now my concept? Yeah, yeah. Now, let's put this on a side. Yeah, okay. Now, going back to Islam. So we said to you, we demonstrated if Christianity is... And by the way, I'm not saying everything in the Bible, we, 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 we brush it under the carpet or we, okay. we, we throw it under the bus. We don't say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're saying there are certain things which is true from the Bible. And there are certain statements, especially from the Old Testament, no problem. But there are a lot of adding, deducting, imposing, yeah, vagueness, books taken out actually. things. So, so that's why we, I cannot use it as a reliable source okay, to I know see, the word of God. I see what you mean. You don't see it as perfect. What about you? I don't, again, I'll go back to, I don't know enough to comment on it. I wouldn't be able No, to you say. should know. I'm, 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 you, according from your experience, you yeah. know there are things. Yeah. Is it a reliable source to know about the divine? to... to to put our our life on the stake, actually? I think, not to me personally, because... Well, listen, we are discussing with you, we're not discussing with everyone. Okay. Let's focus on you, yeah? Sure, okay, yeah. Well, for me, I haven't even properly read it. So I brought to you these things. Yeah. So since the Trinity is not demonstrated properly... But there's more to the Bible than just the Trinity. Uh, the doctoring is based on this. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, so yeah. If, the, if the main concept is, has serious issues, how can I rely on other, on, other, on other things? You understand? Yeah, so... If the main thing, the main doctrine, the main concept on that faith, if it's not there, that faith is not necessarily the right thing. No, sure. Sure, yeah. So, for example, Islam is based on the oneness of God. 
if the oneness of God is not met in Islam from Islamic teaching, that means all Islam is not worth it. If, if, the, one, if the concept of oneness of God is not there, which we call it Tawheed, the oneness of God. So do you see the point? I do. I see how you're saying how a tri-state needs explaining, whereas one, we, we're one person, doesn't need explaining. But with, expla with, explain with explaining, you can explain a sort of tri-state. How? Tell me. Uh, you know like how, say like water, water can be gas, ice and liquid. In so the same time? Very, for a very short period. No, in the very same time. In the very, there, is, very a, there is a very, there, there can be a tri-state no. in. At all. As it, you could. You in the could. same, in the same time, no. I, okay, I wasn't aware. I, okay, I wasn't. It's aware. impossible. I thought there was. Uh, At all, very, no. Okay. The either this or this or this. Okay. I the molecule itself. Yeah, yeah. It cannot be ice or gas or water in the same time. Well, it has water to be. slowly boils, so some is steam, and some is still liquid. Yeah, some. So not the so same you molecule. Could create an artificial so, environment, let's say. Okay. Where you could have, you know, like how ice, water, freezes, yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Okay, but still, that's you're not talking about the same thing. But there could be ice on top. So liquid underneath. Again, that and steam coming off at the top. That he, the problem is so you fail, you fail into a problem that because you, the water made of components. Yes. God is not. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. No, it's just a way to explain. You cannot, you, you cannot say God has components and things like this to say, you know, with this. But that, that's not right because God, we don't believe this. We believe God is one, and we believe God is, sure, uh, sure, and God, sure. you know, God is one, and God as well has to has His essence, and He has He's the greatest. Cannot be the greatest and at the same time become weak. No, no, no. He's always the greatest. So was Jesus weak? I think he had moment of weakness, but again, I don't know. Yeah, yeah he was weak. He was weak. That tells to, that to tells you that time. tells you that tells you when he yeah, was yeah. weak, he was referring, he was asking God for help. Yes, that means it's not God. Well, he was asking his father for help. But again, I don't know enough. You see here, if he is asking his father, uh -huh. why did he ask himself? Because he's the father. He, he was the. Sh again, I'm talking about something I don't know, but I think mm. what Christians believe is that he was a human representation of God. So it's like his human side asking. But I don't. That's what I think. My 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 friend, listen to me and yeah. try to listen to this okay. carefully. Sure. The issue is. Uh -huh. Where you are failing into uh -huh. is basically, if God is the greatest, is uh -huh. God the all powerful, all knowing, has independent will, uh -huh. cannot be at any point become weak, cannot be at any point become uh, uh, divided. As we said, the molecules, we said uh -huh. God is sure. components like the water that cannot be divided, to be in two, you know, in two places, whatever. Yeah. That we cannot say that this about God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you understand? That's my point of to say. Earlier to say he's not components means can't it, uh, that about we can't say yeah be, be component to be uh, to be divided and all that. that's not right that's what we were describing God and since things can be divided that means become weaker than it was before yeah I meant from that sort of explanation of the Trinity yeah I know to yeah I know but which is again you make because I agree with it can only be one God one God yeah. so that's why and one God. Yeah, so it cannot be divided sure. two places and as well cannot become weak like Jesus was weak and he said as well by him as by him being tortured and killed that shows the weakness of Jesus I think he had moment of weakness yeah yeah that shows he's not God and if God is all powerful cannot become weak when I say all powerful the possessor of all power but cannot he, become weak but I also think he persevered through that moment of weakness which means choose to do that. Did he choose to commit suicide? You know like how you have duress. You know like how... You know when you are talking about God, you are using our own, you know, uh, our own intellect and our own reasoning sure. to think about God and God yeah. is greater than this. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. I believe that my human capabilities yeah, that's are my, limited. My point is, but we know God, what God described himself, is all powerful, cannot become weak. 
all knowing cannot become ignorant. Okay. Yeah. Has independent will will have no his will will be what he will do, what he will say. Not the not, not what the people are telling him or not and there is no one above him to tell him what he should do, what he should what he should not do. Now going back to that, when we are talking about Jesus peace be upon him, Jesus wasn't powerful that tells the weakness that he needs he needs help. He needed when he was a child, he needed someone to change his nappies. Yeah, yeah, sure. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So he needed the help of a human being. A baby, yeah. So what is this a God? In the form of man. So so interesting. Interesting. Not enough of there is no form of a man. Man human being are weak. Yeah, we're weak. So we are not all powerful. We're not all powerful. We're not independent. That shows no, we, we have to get to an age to be independent. No, like even say, though, we even need, though, we even need a guardian we, are, we need all until even the eight age. We need yeah. always to be independent. Especially, and then when you get an old age, and I talk, we need God in our life as well. Yeah, yeah. That tells you. Now that tells you that you cannot explain that Trinity. Okay. Yeah, that no, tells you it's not necessarily. This is not the word of God. This is not what God wants okay. from us. Now, in Islam, it's so clear. God is one. God said in the Surah Al-Ikhlas. Sure. Say one, say Allah is one and unique. Ahad. Even they use, even in the Old Testament, the Hebrew, Ahad means Ahad. Ahad. One. One. One meaning there is no one before, there is no one after. One and unique. Yeah, this is easier to understand. Easier to understand. Not just he said Allah is one. Not said Allah is one. He said one, Ahad is a special term. It determines uh -huh. that there is nothing before, nothing after. Unique, there is no no similar. Okay. There is you it's understand. Unique, yeah. yeah. Uniqueness of God, independent. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the meaning of Ahad. Uh, Allah Samad means all the creation relies on him and he is self sufficient. That shows what? It shows that independent. he's unique. He's independent. Yes. But exactly. I guess it shows it has the capability to do whatever he chose. He do whatever he chose that befits his divinity. If it is basically, yes. That befits his divinity. Sure. Things doesn't sure. befit his divinity, which is, it's not attributed to him. Okay. So God cannot become a mouse, for example. Okay. It, yeah, because it would be... It doesn't befit his divinity. Fitting. It does not befit his divinity. Sure. He has the capabilities too, but why would he? No, he has the capability to do but things. he never would. No. He will have the capability to do things which befits his divinity. Sure, sure. So the condition is to, to fit his divinity. So, so to create something greater than him, to create a rock that he cannot carry, that doesn't befit his divinity, you understand? So do you think God created, so suffering, if we think of suffering, this cannot be a divine concept, this is not a nice concept. But so, God knows it. But do you think God created suffering? Or do you think it's like... God a... allowed it. Oh, okay. And he knows it. Okay. And he knows it. Okay. So that's when we say all-knowing, he knows it. Okay. He knows it better than you and me. He knows better than us. Okay. He doesn't need to experience it to know sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. Do you understand? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what where the Christian actually, you know, fail to understand. And what do you think about stuff like, you know, like diseases? Where Again, he created diseases. For, you know, like... You know, but that's ill-fitting of, of divinity. Yeah, again, at the end of the day, that we you know, this life is not for eternal. This yeah. life, eventually we're going to die. Yeah, sure. It's a life of test. Yeah, we're going to sure. be tested according sure, to sure. our disease, and that's it. This so that's why... It's a mortal... Yeah, that's how it is. Whether we die with disease, whether we die with earthquake, uh, eventually we're going to die. Sure. And that's this is not the life. The true yeah. life is the hereafter. Yeah, sure, sure. Do you accept? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I accept that Good. there is a, a hereafter. I, I think this is just... And do you, accept, uh, do you accept there is only one God? I believe there is one God. Cannot be divided. I believe he has the capability to, but I understand your... No, 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 not, you not, not it has the capability. There is no, it's not a capability. We're talking about that befits his, his majesty and glory, befits his divinity. Sure. Things that befits his divinity, yes. Sure. Doesn't befit his divinity, no. There is no way to discuss it. Okay, no, I see, I do see, I see what you're saying. So to create another God like him, that doesn't befit his, his divinity. Sure, sure. To sure. cease to exist, it does not befit his divinity. Sure, 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 sure. To say he can't do anything, can he cease to exist? So what, do you, what are you going to say? 
No, I don't think he can cease to exist. Why? You, then you see here. The, I haven't so, thought about that. You see here. But that I think is it's why. Eternal. It's eternal. So that yeah. Okay. Why? Here you go to the point which is eternal, meaning that the that his divinity uh -huh. is eternal. Sure. So if cease to exist is not eternal, that contradicts the concept okay. of the divine. Yes. Yeah, sure. Same thing. Weakness is the contradict the concept of the divine. Ignorance is contradicting the concept of the divine, so we cannot use it. Sure. Do you understand? It's because, I again, I can't represent a religion, I'm not, but I think they maybe think that it was the human side of him, which is the weakness. Again, so, again, just only human yeah. side, that contradicts his divinity. Yeah, sure, no, see, if we stick to that, then you can't ever believe that he would be human, sure. Yeah. I understand. Do you accept now? What I said? I, I accept your logic. I understand Good. your logic. Good. That's fine. Now going back, you mentioned about that every prophet that there is a prediction about him coming. Yeah, my understanding that yeah. Jesus was foretold, predicted. And no even problem. When he was a baby, they knew that this was going to be a special man. And he's a special. We're no yeah. problem. We we have no issues. We believe yeah, in his yeah. miraculous birth. We believe that he's he was do, sent yeah. by God. We know that he's the Messiah. No problem. Yeah, yeah. And as well, Muhammad, peace be upon him, as well, he's predicted that uh -huh. to be sent. For example, yeah. God, as well mentioned this in the Old Testament, look at the Allah, Allah uh, for example, God said in the Old Testament, let the land of Salah, let the land of Kaidar uh -huh. rejoice, uh -huh. and let the mountain of Salah or the land of Salah rejoice. Now, who is the Kaidar? What does Kaidar mean? Kaidar is basically is a name for the son of Ishmael. And one of the sons of Ishmael, Ishmael has ten sons, Okay. one of them is Kaidar. And Kaidar was foretold? Kaidar... And they said, let's rejoice? I will tell you. The okay. Kaidar, yeah. his descendants uh -huh. are the people of Quraysh, which is the family of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay. Which means, let's that's see. why they used to call them the land of Kaidar, which is basically the Arab Peninsula. Okay. Because it was all mainly around Mecca and Medina and this area. Yeah, yeah, you used yeah. to call it the land of Kedar, meaning it is the representation of what? Of the descendants of Ishmael. Their family. Okay. The descendants of Ishmael. Uh, okay. So the Kedar, uh -huh. the Kedari people lived in Mecca. Yes. And land of Salah, which is Medina, which is another city, yes. four hours driving or four, four and a half hour drives from Mecca to, to, to Medina which is another tribe, which they are not from the descendants of Ishmael. But they were separate. But they are known Arabs. But those are Arabs from the descendants of Ishmael. Mecca and the other Arabs and, and Medina are Arabs. A different family. A different Arabs. Sure. But the Arabs of the descendants of Ishmael, uh -huh. they were settled in, 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 in Mecca. Uh -huh. And some of the descendants of Ishmael, they were in Petra in Jordan, in that sure. area, in Nibayot, which is Nabatis, and other places. But my point is, uh -huh. Those are the original, uh, the, the, the land of Medina, they came from the original Arabs, which is the original ones, who came from Yemen and settled in, in Medina. Okay. And the land of, of Mecca, and Mecca was basically, uh, uh, basically only the descendants of Ishmael. They stayed there. Yeah? Okay. Now the descendants of Ishmael, they are known, later on, that they are known that this is the Kaidari people. Okay. Yeah? Now, from Kaidar uh -huh. to Medina, there is no in the history, throughout the history, that one of the Kaidari people stayed and went and stayed in the land of Salah, which is Medina. And there was no, so they didn't, they just kept the, separate. They, they separate, they may visit, but there's sure. a, in the history, there is only one person who united them. Who was this person? I'm going to have a guess that it has to be the man, Muhammad. Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is Muhammad. the one who migrated from Mecca when his own people tried to kill him. Yes, and he migrated from this. Mecca yes. to Medina, Medina, which is the land of Salah. Yes. And he stayed there, which is called Mount of Salah, which is uh -huh. near Medina. Uh -huh. And there was a sign. And this is the presence of the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he came to Medina. Okay, sure. So, I and this is mentioned, this. and this is mentioned, and this is mentioned, uh -huh. where? In the Old Testament. Okay, interesting. Do you want to see that? Yes, it was foretold. Interesting, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see that, yeah. Thank yeah. You. Okay, here. Yeah. yeah, here. 
Let the wilderness and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements where Kedar lives rejoice, like rejoice. he said. Let the people of Salah sing for joy. Let them shout from the mountaintops. Now this refers to Muhammad's arrival. Okay. This is the first to Muhammad's arrival. Okay. Upon him. Yeah. So this was why it was so easy for them to, why they were so willing to follow. Do you think? It's the, partly. It's partly one of this. Even though they were kind of expecting there would be a yeah. person coming, as well in the Bible talking about, talking about the one who will be given. The, he will say, "I am not a reader." I'm not. A, what does that mean? When you say I'm not a reader, did you say? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Here, uh -huh. if you give into the scroll to someone who cannot read and say, read, they will answer, I don't read, or in another place, I'm not a reader in my place, by the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, okay. who will be given the scroll to say to read, and he will say, I'm not a reader? Tell me someone in history. <laughs> Know. You know. Uh -huh. Do you know his story when he was in cave? Vaguely, I do. I know. So that when the angel came the to him and he said to him, "Read," real. and he said, "I'm not a reader." He said, "Read, I'm not a reader," three times, and then he said to him, "Read in the name of your Lord." So, who is this person except Muhammad? So these are things we can use. Okay, and you can sure, say okay. as a prediction, let alone okay. as well it was known, let alone the truthfulness of the Quran. Interesting. Interesting. Now, if the Quran, if Muhammad be so from either a liar no, or a truthful person, so. if truthful he was person. a truthful person, yeah, yeah. that means you should follow him. He said, I'm a prophet from God. I was sent I by God. I think he's the only truthful person. I'm not saying he's the only. I'm saying to you, he, if he is a truthful person, yeah, he said, I'm a prophet from God. I agree. So you agree with this? I agree he's a truthful person from... I'm still yet to read it. Yeah. But you read, you read things about him, yeah? Yeah, I've been told. For example, discussed. for example, for example, he is the one, if he's a truthful person, he yes. can use anything. If, if, he, if he wasn't a truthful person, he could use anything for his advantage to make the people to be misguided. But Absolutely. he didn't do that. He would have been exposed a long time ago. Exactly. Lifetime. That's exactly. But it tells you what? If he is an honest and he said the truth and he said to the people, I was sent by God, uh -huh. I am a prophet of God. Uh -huh. And he said about Jesus, peace be upon him, he is a prophet and messenger of God uh -huh. and he is the son of Mary. He is not divine, he is not God, he was uh -huh. sent by God and his example, like the example of Adam, God said be and he became, he said this. Okay, okay. Now, what does that tell you? You remember James, yeah? Yes, James. Yeah. What does that tell you, James? It, 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 it tells me that there is a bit of a contradiction because I'm assuming Jesus was telling a truthful man. And I'm, and Jesus I'm, never said I'm God. Okay, interesting. So, okay. See, this is where I don't know enough. Jesus never said I'm God. You could find the Bible, all of it. Okay. Never said I'm yeah. a God. Okay, okay. So Jesus, in, uh, my understanding was he thought he was the son of God. Again, son of God, it means servant. That's that's okay, irrelevant in, uh, because Moses Arab. was son of God. No, no, even even in even in the Old Testament, David was son of God. Moses was son of God. Children of Israel used to be children of God. So that's yes. that has nothing we, to we, do. We're all children of God. Yeah. So. But he again, I can't. I, I'm not talking on behalf of Christians because I'm. Not, I but you are already talking about them now. Um, yeah, he he didn't say. He already never said I'm God, and okay. he never claimed to be this. Okay. What, you, what you're saying? So again, if you wanted to say, if you wanted to say that if he was a prophet of God, uh -huh. no problem, like David, like Moses, like others, no problem. Adam and so forth. Okay, okay. So interesting. So in Islam, Jesus is seen as a prophet of God, but not the son of God. Yes. And Muhammad is seen as a the final and the final prophet. But also, of God. No, not son of God, no. just the, the final prophet. Yes. Interesting. Interesting that he was foretold. Okay, so in Islam, 
What is the view on Jesus' birth or the Immaculate Conception? Do, do, is that you yeah. think? Yeah, uh, Islam says, Allah yeah. says in the Quran, uh -huh. the example of Jesus, his birth and his creation in the womb of his mother, uh -huh. like the example of Adam. God said be and he became. And God blew as well the soul or the spirit of Jesus and into Adam his was body. From the dust. Yeah, and was from the dust, God said be he became. The same thing, God blew the spirit or the soul to the, to the to this clay, became a human being, which is Adam. The uh -huh. same thing, God blew as well the soul into the womb, in the womb of the mother of uh -huh. Jesus. Then, uh -huh. you know, it was the creation of Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. So, they, and this is the only prophet to be born that way? Or yes, is there others? basically okay. that's the only prophet. That's why we believe, we have no issues with this. Yeah, sure, yeah, no, interesting. And that's why, because God is able to do things, miracles like this, no yeah, problem. as we discussed. And it, it befits his divinity. Yeah, that befits, yeah, that's, that's not lower for him because... Yeah. It shows the greatness of him. Yeah. Very interesting, very interesting. So James? Yes. Does Islam make sense to you? Everything you've said makes sense to me, yes. So, why didn't you accept Islam? <laughs> because, um, it's a good question, because... Because I need to do more critical thinking. I certainly need to read the Quran first. Yeah. And... Uh, the Quran... I also, the also need to read the Bible. The okay, Quran... Only, I read the Bible by the way, the Quran... Ago, the Quran... The Quran will teach you what I told I you... Kid, what, yeah. The Quran will teach you all what I told you, what I told you today. Yeah, not sure. Basically. Yeah, yeah. There is basically that if you well, know the concept really meaning if the followers of Jesus uh -huh. they had to do a critical thinking uh -huh. like you, yes. he will have no followers. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they knew this is the truth, they accept it. I don't they want embrace any it. followers. I'll just wanna no, uh, no, I'm saying not yeah, you followers. Yeah. I'm talking about the followers of the truth. Yeah, he wouldn't have any. So the same thing. The followers of Muhammad, peace be upon him, if they, if they thought like you, he will, have, he will have no followers. No, he wouldn't, no. The meaning, yeah, as, was, long, as, long, as long as the concept is there, embrace it. If this I what we agree, a, this what I we said. If I message what, like him, I probably wouldn't. You didn't need to have a message. The message has already came to you now. It's different. No, it's the same. That's the message of Muhammad. That's how it's it the is. the same message, but delivered differently. It doesn't matter. As long as we have the, the word of God amongst us here, which is translated to you, yes. and which I you have, have, a copy, have a copy, and it yes. talks about all of these information is there. Sure, sure. And as well, you remember the matter of guidance when I told you the guidance. Look at this. This is the beautiful verse, actually, or the chapter of the Quran, talking about the guidance, which is here. Look at this. This chapter of the Quran, this is seven lines, yeah? Okay. We read it at least 17 times a day. Okay. Because we pray five times a day, uh -huh. and in each unit we have to recite it. You remember I'm talking about the guidance? Yes. So look at this. Read it. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, all praise is due to Allah, Lord of the world. You know what Allah? Yeah. Allah is not the God of Muslims. The God, the God means the one God, by the way. It means the word for God. The one God. The one God, sure. Yes. Number three. The entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Meaning that his mercy encompasses all his creation. That's entirely, the special one for the believers. Merciful to everyone. Yes, that's the entirely one. Okay. The specific one, those who submit their will to his will, they will have a special mercy in the hereafter. Yeah? So now you are praising God, you are introducing yourself to praise God. And now what you need to do, and after that, carry on. Number four. Sovereign of the day of recompense. What does this the, one mean? The day of judgment. The king, the it's ruler. Sovereign. The ruler. Sovereign of the, the ruler day. or the, the ruler owner. Of the day. Okay, which okay. means the owner, the ruler, the king of the day of recompense, the day of judgment. Day of judgment. Okay. Which sure. means owner. He yeah. owns it. He's yeah, the yeah, sovereign. Yeah. He's the and the this, one. This is a, not in this life. Not in this life. At, at that time, you own a car, you own a house here, whatever. There no ownership except yeah, yeah. except his ownership. Sure, okay. At that time, you have nothing yeah. except your righteous deeds. Carry on. Number five. It is you we worship and you we ask for help. Now, actually, it is you and only you we worship. Meaning, we are introducing ourselves to him that we are worshipping him alone and we are not associated with him in person. And as well, we seek aid and help from him alone with no one else. Yeah? Okay. And that shows fully submission to God. Now, this is you introduce your relation with God. Now, 
Here at this point, God will ask you, what do you want from him? Here, look. Oh, Read. Okay, okay, okay. See, for and this question. Uh, number seven. Six. Guide us to the straight path. Yes. This is what we all want. So what we all want. So here is you praise God. Yes. Then you mention about God what, what he is. Yes. Then you introduce your relation with this God. Uh-huh. And then after that, you are asking this. Sure, sure. As, sure. A, as one subject to this king, which is the king of the kings, Allah. Sure. Saying, we seek, it, we, seek, we want God. And God in Islam is three things. Showing you the right path. Uh-huh. Leading you to the right path. Okay. And keeping you steadfast upon that okay, path. Okay, okay. That's the key thing. So that we keep repeating this. Which path now here? The path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor. Favor. Those ones who, who were guided to the right path, yeah? Uh-huh. Not of those who have earned your anger or those who are astray. Those okay. who earn anger, the one who God sent them the message and they try to twist the meaning, like okay. the Jews, for example, okay. to the way that they think. Or those who went astray, like the Christian. They okay. ignore the truth, they just follow, blind follow, whatever it is. Oh, okay. So, here, you wanted God to guide you to this, to the straight path, to the right path. Which path? The path who God has bestowed his favor upon them. Sure, sure, sure. That is the path that we are, and that is a key thing in the Quran. And that's the message of the Quran. The whole Quran is summarized in this chapter, by the way. Very nice, very good, very nice. So, I mean, it's great, it's very interesting. After knowing this, yeah, yeah. what do you think about Islam? I think that, well, there's lots actually. If there is a true faith of God. I think, yeah, I, I think uh, Islam is a true faith of God. Good. I don't know, I don't feel I know enough to discount other faiths of God though. Okay, but by the way, if there is one God, there have to be one faith. It can't be two, it can't be three, it can't be four. The I, message of God is clear, again. I I Going back, there is one God. since there's one God, there has to be one faith. Otherwise, it's going to be ambiguity, misguidance. Because everyone will do whatever they wanted to do. No, it has to be one faith. This one faith is. So, this faith is. Do you think then, if God, so as there is many faiths on this planet, yeah. Do you think these guys that follow different faiths other than your own, yeah. that live sinless lives, they're good people, i.e. they don't, you know, they, they live the best life they, they do, they can. Is that still seen as a bad thing? Like, or... I will give, I will give you an example. Uh -huh. uh, uh, do you have parents? Yeah. Are you good to them? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Suppose your parents, you, you, your parents, they give birth to you, uh -huh. they look after you when you are young, uh -huh. etc. They feed you, they took care of you and all of this. When you reach the adulthood, you just abandon them. And then you, be, you may be good to me, you may be good to your neighbor, you may be good to everyone in the, in the society, but you are, neglect, you are, neglect, you are negligent and, uh, and you show negligence towards your parents. Is it something good? No, terrible. So which is worse than this, it is it actually to neglect the rights of God. To worship him alone. So that's why when someone is good to me and to you, if someone is a good neighbor, if someone is a good whatever, they don't do bad things in, in, the, in the day to day things, it doesn't make him good. He may, may be good in terms of as a human being to the others, but he is not good as, as someone who's faithful to God. So that's why the first thing God will look into, the concept of submitting to him, that's the first thing. Sure, sure, sure. If you did not submit to him, even if you are the most amazing person on this earth, it will not benefit you in the hereafter. So what, what you get it, what you want, what you will get it in this life, you will get it. The praising from the people, respect of the people, no problem. This but the hereafter, but the hereafter, you get nothing if you this didn't life. submit. Mm -hmm. If you didn't submit your will to the will of your Creator, you will get nothing in the hereafter. So what about if people? It's basically it, make or break thing. What about submitting. if they innocently get it wrong? You know, where, for example. They just haven't. What about if they haven't heard? Well, okay. What if they haven't the heard, before? there's two things. Okay. The people before, the one who never heard about Islam, uh -huh. in the day of judgment, God, God said to us in the Quran, Allah will know, oppress no one. Allah will oppress no one. He'll oppress no one before, yeah. before this time. Even before or after, okay. Allah will oppress no one. Okay. So when the people who never heard about Islam, uh -huh. 
they never knew anything about Islam, God in the Day of Judgment will test them. Okay. Which is this equivalent to this, to this life. Okay. And if they succeed in that test, they're going to go to paradise. If okay. they fail into that test, they didn't submit to His will, then they're going to go to hellfire. So that's something of the people who never heard about Islam, or the message of Islam came to them in a distorted way, in a changed way. No problem. But the one who heard about Islam, uh -huh. knew about Islam, uh -huh. and didn't accept Islam, those are the ones who are blameworthy. In today's world, that's everyone. Everyone, that's everyone has heard of Islam. Everyone today. has heard about Islam. Everyone knows about Islam. That's what we advise them to read and to accept. See, I would like to think that, in just my personal view, that a God would... Let me think about this a second. Because I'd like to think, in my view, that a God would be all forgiving in the sense that someone might be in the Amazon jungle. Oh no, okay, because then they've not heard. Okay. So what about if they've heard of it, but don't pursue it, but still live a good life? Still. This, this according to Islam? No. Again, again. If you if you don't if you don't embrace Islam, you will get you will get you will, you, okay. know, you you don't get the basic This is similar. Understanding. This is similar in 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 other religions. Yeah, as yeah. Well. Basically, that's how it is. That's yeah. the key yeah. thing in Islam is Tawheed, the oneness of God. Okay. Uh, submitting to God. Okay. That is the key thing. Is is a make or break thing. Sure, sure. See. So that's the key thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. Islam is consistently teaching this throughout the Quran, throughout the Sunnah, throughout the, the teaching of the scholars of Islam. It's like this if about the You're wanting the to help, aren't you? You're wanting to help other people. Yeah, that's why. We, well, that's why what you are doing here. We are helping yeah, yeah, you yeah, and yeah, everyone sure. else. So that's why, James, life is too short to yeah, waste yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what you know is sufficient for you to accept and to embrace Islam. It's a mad concept to me because there's so many billions of people. And not everyone's going to be the same religion. At the ever, end of the day, think. at the end of the day, yeah. you will be not questioned about them. You will be questioned about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So I'm them, fine with that. I'm fine them, with that. God is just and fair and merciful. God knows how to deal with them. He has created them. He knows how to deal with them. That's not your business. Yeah, okay. Sure. Your business is you, your yeah. relation with God. That's your business now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's you to accept the truth. So that's what we are inviting you to accept the truth, to embrace it. Yeah, no, sure, I know you are. No, yeah. Yeah. So, James, I an I answered your questions. Yeah, you did. Brilliant. I mean, okay. really answered them. Then but I will have much more questions. Yeah. I mean, we are we are ready to answer your questions. Yeah. No. Cool. I but, appreciate that. But let's accept what we know yeah, and yeah. to embrace it. That's the way to deal with it. When you when you have something which is true, embrace it and go to the next one. Uh -huh. We'll understand it, we'll uh -huh. explain it, then embrace it and go to yeah. the next one and so on and so forth. And that's a, that's why way. for us Islam, uh -huh. Islam is a journey of learning. It doesn't end up by you if you wanted to accept Islam today. It doesn't end up here. Ah, it's a yeah. journey. We're still studying and studying. Yeah, constantly. Yeah, 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 it's something that's ongoing. Yeah, yeah. And actually in Islam is way better. We don't say to you, you just need to believe and just focus. Don't, don't think about it. No, yeah, we say to you, no, sure. read and understand. We say to you, read and understand the Quran and ask yeah. and we are there to answer. We were that's discussing what is, this earlier, That's actually. what we are saying about Islam. Yeah, yeah, sure. So what do you think, James? I think, uh, well, I'd like to say thank you for speaking with me, yeah. answering no, my questions no and explaining so much. And I think it's very interesting. And, you know, as I said at the beginning the stage that I'm at in my life, I'm just exploring these different religions because I'm interested in the afterlife and I want to live my life properly. Okay then, if you want to live your life properly, live it in, as a Muslim. Yeah, I totally see, I totally see your, your beliefs. Okay then, why don't you accept Islam? Because, um, firstly, I don't know enough it's like a process of elimination. Again, 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 again. It's enough. What you know is enough. Well, what I'd like to do is go through a, more of a process of elimination with, with other religions. I so feel, simple as that. If there are other religions, sure. let's see. Of course, definitely, multiple gods is not an answer. So Hinduism and all of this is yeah, out yeah. of the thing. So we came to the three faiths, for example, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Judaism about talking about only certain people who are those ones, the chosen one. Those are the ones which God encompass His mercy and other the special ones. Do okay. you think God is? Do you think God is just with this? I don't. I don't think so. No. So I that's think... why that's the Judaism. Okay. 
okay. Christianity talking about the Trinity and all of these things, and the vagueness as well, and the, the ambiguity in Trinity, again, that tells you it's not necessarily the case. I think but it, actually, uh, it's vague until it's explained. And then once it's explained, I think that I don't need. Makes I sense. don't need. No, it doesn't. No, I it see does your not, point. It should be. It does not. It does it make sense to you? I think without explanation, not. Okay, with explanation, but how does it make sense to you? You brought me all of this nonsense, water, and, and again, which is nonsense. You you can't even understand it's, it yourself. Well, in science, it does exist. I'm, you brought me something which is a creation. I'm talking about the sure. creator. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it doesn't it's exist the same thing. It's a way it's a way to use as an example. That's nonsense. You are using this nonsense example. You're talking about God. Yeah, sure. No, sure. God cannot be weak and strong in the same time. No, no, no. no. It, the, the, the same thing. Otherwise, if you open the discussion about he can do anything, can he cease to exist? I don't think no, he can. Why he can't? Because he's eternal. Why? Because that, again, that, his, it, that, that contradicts his divinity. I don't think it contradicts his divinity, because... Divinity, would, it, it... God can't commit suicide. Cease, cease to exist. It doesn't befit his divinity. It doesn't befit him as God. Oh, no, I think he can't cease to exist. Th that's my point. So that's why you are saying he can't do certain things. So there are certain well, things could do, but it to cease to be... exist. Well, I don't think so. So that's why. So don't say he could. He will not do things doesn't befit I his definition as God. Listen, when you are defining God, listen, yes, yes. when you are defining God, uh -huh. there are things that defines God. Things doesn't define him as God. It, do, it doesn't apply to him. For example, cease to exist because he is eternal. It doesn't apply to him. So it's out of the picture. Him becoming weak, it doesn't apply to him, is out of the picture. Him becoming ignorant is out of the picture. Do you understand the point? Yeah, I do totally understand the point. Try to get it. But you get can it in. Persevere. So not who's persevere, us or him? Uh, I think if he if God wanted an image in a human form, they say he's capable of doing that, which I believe he is. Again, uh -huh. a human being uh -huh. is basically is limited. We are limited as a human Absolutely. being. God yeah. is not limited. Do you understand the point? Yes, so again, sure. if you if you put if you put him as, as a normal human being, that it doesn't befit his majesty and glory. It doesn't befit his divinity. No, sure. I know what you mean. The example of can he be a mouse is below his divinity. Yeah. So that's my point. Yeah, yeah. So the same thing is the same concept. Yeah. We are only small I thing in this universe. If he, if God wanted, in ancient times, because he wouldn't need to do it today, but if he wanted humans to see him in human form, I still feel he has the capability. To see him is something. Uh -huh. To see him is something. Uh -huh. And to come in a form of weakness is something else. To come in Even a form needs someone to change his that. nappies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need to defecate? What's this? Yeah, a little baby, of course. But so why maybe, God? Do you understand? Maybe he wanted you, to. See, I don't know enough. I don't know enough. No, no, you know, but you just you just standing this is, on the this fence. Is like, uh, no, I don't. I don't know enough about. Christianity. But you're still defending about. it until now. Well, no, I don't mean you to. are doing this. My point to. is, I'm trying to, don't, don't justify, don't justify things which is not justifiable. Yeah, they're more inquiries than justification. Again, more just questions these things, about. these things. Again, when we are talking about the message of God, it has to be clear. Yes, and this is not I clear. Agree. The message of Jesus is in when He said to the people, "Our Lord, if God is one." Well, it's not it's clear. I see when he said, "Why he didn't say, I am the He, is, I am the God." Why he didn't say to the people? Oh yeah, he said to me that he didn't say he was a son of God. He didn't say I'm God at all. Sure, sure. And the son again is again as a vague word that can be used for anyone. Yeah, sure. No, it, it's very, very interesting. It's lots for me to to think about. Put it that way. So a lot for me to read further. But also, I'm going through a process of elimination, like I've, I've said, because... It's already eliminated, already Christianity, you, you already is eliminated. The Christian is already out. No, yeah, very mean, it's very well explained, it's great. Already Christianity is out of the, it's out, it's already eliminated, according to what you discussed. Yeah, sure, no, I see, okay, then. I see your, I see your whole view, I mean, explain so then, very well. So then, then why don't you accept Islam then? Because... I have self 
doubts about having full conviction in something I haven't gone through a more extensive process of elimination with. So for example, I would want to ensure that I'm certain in... Are you certain about the oneness of God? I believe at this stage there is one God. Good. Are you certain about the prophethood of Jesus and Muhammad and all the other prophets? Yes, I believe. So that's it, that's Muhammad all. And Jesus, prophets of God, yes. Okay, good. So that's it. But that's our I belief. don't know enough yet to be certain of it. At this stage, see, I'm, I mean, imagine committing to something it's not, by and the way, negating on it. No, no, my point is sure. you're already there. But you okay, okay. try to use to say maybe, is this, or you try to bring all these examples. It's a doubt. It's a human uh, doubt. Yes, human doubt. Yeah. But that doubt is already eliminated by, by this explanation. Sure, no, I see. So? Because I'm human and I have my doubts. I have my fears and worries. Okay. So these are things that through a process of elimination, maybe I'll get to. I, my problem is I don't know how long I live for. Okay, Who then. Knows? You know, that, hopefully that's a long why, time, hopefully. So, so why, we'll don't, why you are delaying the truth and to because embrace it? Because I feel there's no rush. I feel as though, I feel some sense of calm that I'm on a journey, that I feel, it'd be, I feel like it'd be too quick, too easy for me. I feel there should be some... The truth, the truth is too, is easy to be, and just follow it. Yeah, it. yeah, I, I see, I do see. Anyways, but, I, my, James, again, my yeah, advice yeah. to you, don't delay the thing. You see your advice, you know, yeah. If you know the truth, just, just do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, look. It's a lot for me to take away and think okay. with, okay? I really appreciate that. No worries. Thanks for May speaking. Allah guide you. Sure. My advice to you when you go uh -huh. home today, uh -huh. take a shower. <laughs> yeah? yeah? You see I that chapter? <laughs> no, no. Just take a shower, just okay. to, as a purification. Okay. And go to the, the first chapter of the Quran, which I told you. Yes. Read it. Yes. And ask God for guidance. Okay. I'll do that. So I'll go. I'll and keep reading. I'm and ask read Allah. the third chapter. And, keep, and, then and I'm ask gonna... God truly for guidance. Okay, I'll do that. All right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Top okay. man, thank you. All right, take Cheers. care. Thank you. All right. All right, no problem. Nice. Okay, inshallah, my brothers and sisters, we had a very interesting conversation with our brother James. May Allah Azza guide him and open his heart for the truth. And may Allah Azza enable us to help many people to accept Islam. And alhamdulillah, at least, you know, just to have a good discussion, a fruitful discussion, alhamdulillah, is worth it, inshallah. May Allah Azza guide him and keep him, inshallah, in your dua. جزاكم الله خير سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته